Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors with James Holst and Pat McSherry and the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Good morning, everyone. James Holst here with In-Depth Outdoors. It's week two of broadcast season number 14 here on Fox Sports North. And let me tell you, this season is starting off a lot like last season where we got that early blast of cold and now we're starting to see some warmer conditions that are making that very thin ice sheet out there a little problematic. So no matter where you're going to try to ice fish across the ice belt here in the next couple weeks, please be careful. Spud bar, float suit, and make sure you're traveling with a buddy. Now, on today's show, we're still on ice, but things are starting to get a little dicey like I just mentioned. Uh, we're headed to Hayward, Wisconsin. We're going to fish with Ty Sennett on the Chippewa Flowage. And we are super excited about this destination because the Chippewa Flowage offers incredible walleye fishing and a chance at catching a muskie, but both of those seasons close on December 1. So that means to get out on this great body of water and tap into this really unique bite, you got to get ice early. And that's what we've got this year. So before we get right into the fishing action, I want to mention that everywhere we fish for the last couple of weeks, the bite is taking place really early or late in the day. There's been almost no catching activity for us midday. So if you're going to get out there on the ice, make sure you're out there well in advance of sunrise. Because let me tell you, what we've noticed is if you're out there early or very late as the sun's setting, the bite window is very short but it's also incredibly intense. So uh, stick around, I think you're gonna love today's show. It's me, Pat McSherry, and Ty Sennett on the Chippewa Flowage near Haywood, Wisconsin. So here's how we're going to start the day. We're in a shallow bay off the main lake and we're going to target walleyes in real shallow water around the weeds. Uh, but there's also uh, some area back here where we can do some jigging just outside the weeds uh, where that uh, weed cover really starts to thin out. Uh, we're going to keep our tip ups spread out and around the weeds. We're going to jig this area where there's less cover and we're going to hope as the sun comes up that these walleyes will get active and be able to catch some fish on the jigging rods. But we do know once that sun starts to get above the horizon, most of what we're going to put on the ice today is going to come on the iFish Pros. There he is. Oh, it's the little guy. Get out of there, you. That little guy that was down there, just eyeballing that bait, just barely nipped it. That's that number five slab wrap. I think Ty's fishing the pink and UV version of that, that's a green UV. And Pat's out here somewhere in the dark fishing the glow perch. But we will get bigger fish than that. I believe the slot here on the chip is 15 to 20, or the, the size range that you could keep a fish. That one I believe is gonna be a little short. Number five, green UV slab wrap. Gives off some pretty good vibration in the water. It doesn't have rattles, uh, so it's a little bit different than the rip and wrap in that regard. Uh, just didn't figure that these fish in this really shallow water um, would respond real well to real big vibrating baits. So we're starting a little bit more subtle. You know, when you think about those two baits, the rip and wrap and the slab wrap, the rip and wrap is definitely the more aggressive bait. Works great a lot of times in uh, water uh, during the day. Um, bigger fish if the fish are really aggressive. If you're kind of thinking the fish are going to be a little bit less aggressive, looking for something a little bit more finesse, try the slab wrap. Hey James, we got a fish. You got one too? Yep. Nice. That is so cool. You can hear those pop, 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 flags pop up. Oh, there that's a go. decent yeah. fish. 
It's good to have a little morning start here. You got your back, all right. bud. You're all right. That's a perfect eater there. We just had two flags go up in a about a three minute stretch here, so I think it's about to get going here. Well, so not hook bad at all. This is a pretty uh, unique uh, experience here on the flowage because your walleye season closes December 1. Yeah, we have a very short window. And if you are coming out, there's some sketchy ice out here. So sure. you go out, we pre-drill. I mm -hmm. actually take a drill from the house and just put a bit on it and walk every 10 feet and drill a hole. And if it gets less than three inches, we just don't go out. Sure. But now your fishing typically in years when you get ice, is great. It is great yeah, until December 1. It's fast and furious. Just like most lakes, your mm -hmm. your early ice is going to be great. Um, and, and all different sizes. Like we'll get some big ones. We'll get some, you know, standard eating size fish. Sure. And it's just a lot of fun chasing flags and well, catching, jigging, some, jigging up some wraps. I'm debating on whether I'm going to keep some fish today. So right now that fish is lucky, but maybe <laughs> later in the day we're going to find a couple unlucky ones. So uh, why does the Wisconsin DNR shut the season down? You, you can let them go. All right. Yeah. Um, well, they do it to, to, for a few reasons. It's, it's always been that way. It's, it, um, I think originally it was to protect people in general from falling through. Sketchy ice conditions. They used to drop the lake drastically, you know, 12 feet. And it, it was pretty sketchy out here getting around on snowmobiles sure. and stuff. So I think originally it was, it, it's always been to protect the people and the fishery. Gotcha. Well, I would imagine as that water dropped, those fish would get pretty isolated. Yes, they? definitely. Understood. Definitely. Well, All right. I'll get you a minnow. All right. Thank you. Strikemaster introduces the new Lithium 40 Volt. Everything you've ever wanted in an ice auger. With a 40% increase in cutting speed over the competition and up to 100 holes per charge, the Lithium 40 Volt has the power and stamina you need and the two amp rapid charger that can bring a fully discharged 40 volt battery pack to a full charge in as little as two and a half hours. The new Lithium 40 Volt, only from Strikemaster. At Eskimo, we have the tools to help you enjoy your time on the ice. We say man needs food, clothing, and shelter. When it comes to shelter, we like the Outbreak 450i with its full-size no-trip door that's nearly 74% bigger than a standard door, making it much easier to load and unload. With 75 square feet of fishable area, you'll be warm and comfortable during your day on the ice. Check out the Outbreak 450i and our full line of products at GetEskimo.com. From the first time you pick up a tuned up custom rod, you'll know you're holding something special. A rod not mass produced, but built one at a time by the hands of gifted craftsmen. Rods like the Precision, ice fishing's most versatile multi-species rod, or the Precision Noodle with a tip so sensitive you'll never fish a spring bobber again. And the Commander, the rod that's never met a big fish it couldn't best. Tuned up custom rods, ice rods handcrafted for you and the way you fish. This winter, set a trap for your next trophy with iFish Pro. The new iFish Pro 2.0 now offers an insulated base to help keep your ice hole from icing over and an upgraded rod holder for use with longer, heavier rods. Complete your ice fishing arsenal with iFish Pro, tactical ice gear that puts the fight back into tip-up fishing. Find iFish Pro online at iFishPro.com or at your favorite sporting goods retailer. Oh, shallow water, they're pretty close combat. There he is. Hey, another eater. And that one just crushed that bait. That bait is just completely gone. That's like number five green UV slab wrap. I'm gonna have to get the forceps on that guy. There we go. Just that number five slab wrap there. Another one of those oh, 15 inches or so. We'll get him back. Let's see if we can get a bigger one. Right on. Feels good to be back out on the ice catching walleyes. There he is. What we got going on here? Definitely a walleye. I don't think he's a giant. Come here, you. Oh, yeah. Nice eater right there. We're out here on the Chippewa Fluage, hanging out with Ty Sennett. It's gonna be a walleye and a muskie day today. That little guy's gonna get a free pass. 
I got my uh, sight set on a lot bigger fish today. But you know what we're doing is we got just a great spread of iFish Pros out. Uh, we got sucker minnows, you know, four or five inches long for the walleyes, and we're putting out some just some gigantic suckers. Well, I should say, 13-inch suckers. Guys will use bigger, but that's about the right size for this time of year. And we're going to spread some of those out in the mix. And uh, you know, we're at a time of the year where you know typically the muskies would still be feeding open water, but we got ice so early this year that uh, we can target these fish. They're still gonna be active and the season's still open. You know, typically that closes uh, December 1, I believe. So we've got some time yet, a couple weeks, to target the walleyes on this fishery, but also the muskies. Pat, flag. Fish on. Man, it's hard to keep up with them right oh, now. No kidding. <laughs> Need some track shoes. This one's probably ready. We were chasing another one a second ago, so. There we go. That's probably a little better fish. A little nice. slower drag to it. Make sure this drag's set good. Oh yeah, we're good. Oh yeah, nice walleye. Oh yeah. There he is. That's Beauty. what we're looking for. There we go. All right. Right on. You know, it's pretty awesome one-two punch doing the jigging and oh, the, the sucker minnows. Sucker minnows will so catch fun. a lot of nice fish and they keep you super busy. Yep. And we're just getting started. And it's flat calm out here so you can hear the flags yep. literally pop. It's so fun. I fish pros. Yep. Your ears get in tune to hearing that crack. Mm -hmm. So, all right, let's pop this hook out and get this bad boy back. Nice. Let's go on and get another one. I'll go grab a new sucker. We'll let that big boy go. In-Depth Outdoors, Spot on the Spot ID. On today's Spot on the Spot ID, we want to share some ideas on where to be looking for uh, these really good walleye bites with a chance at a muskie uh, if you're able to get out on the Chippewa flowage. Now, I want to talk about how we're showing these maps, what we're using. This is actually the Fish Smart app. You can see it up here top left, uh, free to download. You can put it on your phone. And then what you're able to do is uh, buy Lake Master Maps and get them right on your smartphone and uh, Lake Master Maps, the, the, the accuracy of the data is pretty incredible. And when you take a look at this body of water, what you're seeing here, this is the Chippewa flowage. It's very spread out, it's very complex. Uh, but uh, we're gonna share some ideas on how to narrow down your search to have a shot at getting on one of these good walleye bites and maybe throw in a muskie or two as well. So the walleyes are really uh, concentrated right now in shallow, weedy bays. Um, there's other places to catch them, but because the ice conditions are still, we're really early in the season, there's not a lot of ice. This is not a body of water where you're gonna be looking at getting out on the main lake. So the fact that you've got walleyes back in three to seven foot of water actually plays in real favorably to the ice conditions that we've got right now. So you take a look at this map here. This is a great example of the type of uh, uh, habitat we're talking about. Shallow, expansive backwater bay. The fish are gonna be out towards the deeper water here. You can see that in this general area, it's to five to about eight feet of water. It's gonna be a great area to drop tip ups, get those suckers down there and soak and uh, pick those walleyes off that are moving around in and amongst those weeds. Now, if you're looking to target a muskie, I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit. Most of the fish you're gonna catch are gonna be outside of the bay in an area where this weedy bay transitions out into deeper water. Of course, you're gonna to wanna to pay special attention to ice conditions as you move from that shallow bay out into a deeper uh, area like this, but setting up tip ups where deeper water is just outside one of these shallow bays and run some of those larger sucker minnows, it's a great one-two combination that will set you up to be able to catch some nice walleyes, but also have a shot at the muskies that the Chippewa Flowage is so famous for. So keep this information in mind. If you put this to use, I think you're gonna be very successful. But before we go, I also wanna remind everybody, this season closes for both species on December 1, so get out there. Your window to get in on this great bite is pretty short. Shuttle only from Markham Technologies. 
Okuma Fishing Tackle offers a complete lineup of reels for the die-hard ice angler. The Okuma Samar 10 and Inspira 20 are a perfect match with your favorite panfish or walleye ice fishing rod. Both feature a long stem handle that fits comfortably in a gloved hand. Cyclonic Flow Rotor technology that throws water off the reel to minimize ice buildup. And a drag system optimized for use in extreme conditions. Everywhere, every day, every fish. Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing. Glacial Lake Stock is your number one source for Yeti ice houses. With our large inventory of new and used Yetis, our experienced staff will help you select the perfect model for the way you fish. From sale to service, Glacial Lake Stock has you covered. As an authorized Yeti service center, we can handle all your service or warranty needs and work to keep you fishing all winter long. Stop in today or check us out online at glacialakestock.com and make this ice season your most enjoyable and comfortable ever. For this winter's next cold front, the new Strike Master Surface Suit offers features ice anglers demand. The Surface Suit is 100% waterproof, windproof, has an adjustable hem, and is constructed using a 100% nylon Oxford shell that offers unmatched durability. The Surface Suit combines incredible warmth with the confidence that comes from knowing Strike Master's stay on surface flotation will be there, providing up to two hours of flotation when the jacket and bibs are worn as a pair. Strike Master, the hottest brand on the ice. Pretty good fish here. Come on. Nice head shakes. Come on, you. Ooh. That was a line getting caught on the edge there. It's not running like a pike. I am very hopeful. It's a walleye, it's a big one. You look like you could use a hand here. I'll take it, here it comes, whatever it is. It might be a pike, I can't tell. But it's a muskie. Are you kidding me? No. That's awesome. It's not yeah. a giant, but we got the elusive muscalonge. We actually set out some iFish Pros for musky earlier and didn't get any. Now, of course, we put a walleye sucker on and... That's the way it works, man. It's actually not a bad one. Oh, yeah. Come on. He's doing some hot laps. When I got to the hole, the line was so far off at an angle. Oh, what side is he? I gotta grab this one. Oh! Are you bleeding? Nope, okay. not yet. <laughs> it's soon to be. <laughs> Team player right here. <laughs> we must have this thing hooked in. I mean, He's if it in was. the right, right corner. Is he gonna hit the 40 mark? Oh yeah. Awesome. Keep getting caught right there. It's, it's just like so hard to tip him up. Got him. We got him, yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> that is a pr Woo! pretty one. <laughs> All right, buddy. I don't hold. think I've caught a muskie to the ice before, Pat. I never have. I've tried quite a bit. <laughs> got him. <laughs> Look at that. That's awesome! <laughs> it is a pretty fish, yeah. too. A lot of color. So, what do you learn from this? Uh, those $8 suckers, <laughs> you, you don't need probably them. don't need them. <laughs> That's awesome. You need a 50 cent sucker minnow. Little baby minnow, I guess. They're fat. Nice job. Well, let's get him back in the water quick. We'll take yeah. good care of him. It's not cold out today, so you don't have to worry about the fins freezing fast, but you still want to get them back quick. Uh, risk your life and limb, or? Yeah, let's. All right, got her, just like it, just like it, Yep, go. Got it. All right. Nice. Nice chunky fish. Just I'd pretty fish. Yeah. Let's do that again. <laughs> that <laughs> we was might, awesome. We may need to change some line. <laughs> That's a pretty fish. Nice thick <sighs> fish. All right, Love let's it. get this thing back. Ready to go. Boop. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That Love was it. awesome. 
Buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a lot of first for this guy anymore. And I mean, we've spent some time trying to put a muskie on the ice. It's not easy and to have that happen. That That's the, the phenomenal. The road rash is worth it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Way out there. Oh, he's at the far end. There he is. Let it be a walleye. Come on, you. Should be a walleye, right? Oh, I think they all should be. Every once in a while I get disappointed, though. What we got? Oh, oh big it's a walleye. big walleye. Big walleye. And I don't mean, I mean, yeah. Woo! Look at that thing. Oh. Pat. It's an upper 20 inch fish for sure. If you gotta lip him, you gotta do it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> there Whoa. we go, that's what we're after right there. Heck yeah! Heck of a nice walleye. Money, money, money. That was a little stressful, yep. I'll have you know. <laughs> I was doing my best, but oh, she was tough man. to get up the hole. This has been a pretty pretty solid day. Oh, yeah. I mean, this makes the day right there. A nice upper 20-inch walleye. Let me see what you got going on down in here. What did you guys get here? <laughs> goodness. Oh, that is yep. a beast. Lots of goodness. Here's your fish. Oh, man. Holy cow. Let me add it. You might have to get a tape on that one. Yeah. Can I just, like, cuddle it? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. We're, we're going to need to be alone. <laughs> Ah, that's a stud. Heck yeah, man. I didn't know you got such quality fishery. I mean, I know it's a great fishery, but I mean, today's been pretty awesome, bud. A mm. little bit of everything. I love it. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks for the assist. That, yeah. one, that one was a little nerve wracking. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think my day's kind of complete. Yeah, it's still early. We got a couple hours yet. <laughs> All right. What's that little magic uh, slap on the keister you do? That, that thing? <laughs> <laughs> it worked. It does. <laughs> oh man, awesome what a fish. fish. Great fish. Mm -hmm. Randall GM in Aiken, Minnesota's only haggle-free Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer is a proud sponsor of In-Depth Outdoors TV. Our Brandle value price ensures that you don't have to spend your entire day haggling to get a great deal. And every new vehicle comes with our exclusive gimmick-free lifetime powertrain warranty. Whether you're in need of service, sales, parts, or body shop repair, stop by our state-of-the-art facility in Aiken or visit us 24-7 at BrandleGM.com. Introducing the Light Flight Laser Drill Unit by Strikemaster. The Light Flight, the laser drill unit that offers a nearly 40% reduction in weight without sacrificing cutting speed. Paired with any quality brushless electric drill or any Strikemaster powerhead, the Light Flight features a full length flight and molded blade carriage that ensures your laser blades will always stay at the perfect cutting angle. Less weight, less fatigue, more holes in less time. The Light Flight Laser Drill Unit by Strikemaster, the hottest brand on the ice. Stop ice formation in its tracks, down to 20 degrees below zero with the new Ice Defense Pro Series from Cold Nation Outdoors. Lightweight and highly portable, Ice Defense is compatible with all flasher and camera brands. Ice Defense draws in warmer water from below to circulate at the top of your hole, creating a powerful thermal flow to melt away ice, slush, and snow. Spend time fighting the fish, not an icy hole. Ice Defense, own the cold. James, right there, flag. That one's flying. Heck yeah. I got this. Thank you, sir. Your turn. Seems like it's been your turn quite a bit. Uh, it's all about timing. <laughs> <laughs> and the willingness to run for every flag. <laughs> You're faster. Nice. Yeah. Nice, nice. That is what we're after right there. Look, right in the corner. We have caught just a ton of fish today. Yeah, a lot of fun. <laughs> a little bit exhausting, but a lot of fun. Well, so this bite is going to pretty much stay like this. I mean, barring some crazy weather change, which you can't control that, this will stay right up to closure. Yep. End of the month. We have great ice in certain spots, so yes, it will it will stay hot for another couple weeks. Nice. And then you switch pretty much to crappies, right? Yeah, then it's all crappie after that. I usually give it a little break, let the ice really firm up out in the deeper spots. Sure. And then get out and do some crappie. 
really a nice fish. That would, be, right. that would be in the protected slot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'd let that one go either way. Yeah, we'll see you later. Well, that was worth the run. To fight again. Bye-bye. <laughs> there you go. Yep, there's a the fish. Oh, that's a good one. Hasn't done any of those long pipe runs. Nice walleye. Heck yeah. Oh, get in there, bud. I owe you one. <laughs> <laughs> Just doesn't want to come in. It's not as big as I thought, but it's a nice one. Been getting quite a few in that 16, 17 inch like that, which can't can't beat that. Somebody looking for a meal. This yeah. is this is a quick deal out here. Yeah, a lot of fun. Nice. All right, and there you go. Tell you what, I'll grab you a minnow. All right. There we go. Not a big fish, but it's the right flavor. There we go. It's getting to be that time of day. You know, we had a great morning, a few fish midday, and now this evening things are starting to pick up and the wallies are starting to bite again. These set lines and these live sucker minnows have really been kind of paying off for us. Right at sundown, we just had one pop. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, we might need some assistance on this one. Heck yeah. Big head shakes. Yeah, I think we got a good one. Nice. Yeah, he's close, wherever he is. Yeah, he's biting right like a there. walleye. Yep, I think it is. There it is. There we go. That's a good one. We are right at sundown right now. Mm -hmm. It's about that time when they start popping and that's a good one. Heck yeah, super nice fish there. What's that, a 23? Yeah. 23 incher. Nice chubby one. Mm-hmm. Get her back. Nice healthy fish. Sweet. Good breeder. So that brings us to the end of today's show and let me tell you, the bite on Chippewa flowage was everything it was billed to be. If you're looking to get in on what has got to be one of the best ice bites going in the state of Wisconsin right now. You're gonna to wanna to connect with Ty Sennett. This guy knows this body of water like the back of his hand, and he is an incredible amount of fun to fish with. So we're gonna run his contact information here at the end of the show. Look him up. You're gonna have a phenomenal time fishing with this guy. So before I go, I wanna remind everybody, please be extra cautious out there on the ice for the next couple weeks. We've got some really warm temperatures and some rain that's falling on the ice sheet right now. That's not gonna help anything. So uh, please be careful. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next week. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at Indepth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.